Get strong. Great, so today our piece of writing will be a poem. And it's going to be a narrative poem and a piece of fantasy. So we're going to use our fantasy dice deciding to decide what our story, our poem is going to be about. So I'm going to do that now. writing my story. As you can see, my story needs to have a troll, it must be furious, it must stink, and it must have the general feeble idea of nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to start off just by describing my troll. There was a troll in a cave. There was a troll in a cave. Seven syllables, useful to know. Who smelled like well-worn pants. Cave. Is that Ave? Sounds. We think about that. Alphabet. Dave. Brave. Oh, Dave. That should be called Dave, I suppose. Save. Dave. Hey. Jade. Mave. 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 Rave. Stave. 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 Okay. I'm going to go for brave, seems like an easy rhyme. Approach him, to approach him, you must be brave. To take the sensory chance. Here you know, chance is going to rhyme with pants. Brave is going to rhyme with cave. There was a troll in a cave who smelled like well-worn pants. Approach him, and you must be brave. To take the sensory chance. And then, I want my narrative. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So that, that must be my narrative somehow. Okay, there was a little village where the water was no good. Okay, sucks. I'm having a problem here. There's a village where the water's no good. Good. Can it helps guide my narrative because it rhymes with flood. So I can go, there was a little village where the water was no good. The villagers took little care and it would often badly flood. The villagers, they have no hope. No way to stop the yearly dread. Hope. Dread. So here, I set up my poem. So it has a rhyme on the first and the third line and the second and the fourth line. And each line is approximately six to eight syllables. So I'm going to keep up that kind of rhythm and that rhyme as my poem goes. So the villagers have no hope. Hope rhymes with boat, dope, nope, rope. Zope. Okay, so so hope is a good one and dope is a good one. So the villagers had no hope, no way to stop the yearly dread, but one villager was no dope. So here, dope is going to rhyme with hope. Great. Easy. He didn't follow. He led to rhyme with dread. So I've got myself a problem. So following the same kind of structure that we normally have with a story... I'm now following this same structure with my poem and I'm just rearranging things a bit to make sure this rhythm and this rhyme work out okay. He walked into the forest dark. Okay, so he's going to find the troll. Towards the pitch black cave. Dark. Rhymes with bark, lots of bark in forests. And hark. Okay, a bit of a weird word, but it uh, could be used in this context. Um, also rhymes with jark, not really. Lark, name of a bird, also a bit of fun, so that's good. Nark, somebody who tells us, uh, tells on his friends. Mark, either a mark in a book or somebody going to con. Yeah, th these are all plausible words that we might use. Okay, I'm going to use the word lark. So it's going to be, there was no friendly singing lark. But he had villagers to say. Here, look, we're carrying on our story and our narrative. In our narrative, our boy is going towards this cave. And the cave, of course, the troll has to smell bad because that's one of the things that we rolled. So we're going to say, he smelt it from far away before it came into view. The cave where the troll lay stank like underwear and stale poo. Here, look. Away is being rhymed with lay and view and poo. He smelled it from far away. And as I'm reading my poem back to myself, I'm just checking things so I don't have it there, just adding little things on. Yeah. Now, my, my troll must be furious, so now is a good chance for me to show this by giving my troll a little bit of dialogue. Get out of here, little runt! The troll bellowed out, runt, out, runt. Now, runt here, there's not many rhymes to it, so it's going to probably lead my dialogue here. So, bunt or dunt, not really words. Um, 
Uh, Fant, no, oh, truff, hunt, hunt's a word, so that could try to put hunt in there. Uh, lunt, munt, nunt, punt, punt is a word. Sunt, oh, sunt, shunt. Shunt means to, to, to push a little bit. So actually, I, I need some way to block this river. So shunt is actually going to be a useful word here. Okay. Uh, he gave a massive rock a shunt, which he followed with a shout. Shout, obviously, just to rhyme with out. The villager, he saw the rock. Which he followed the shoulder bow. He gave a massive rock a shunt, which he followed with a shout. The villager, he saw the rock as it was winning, whizzing past. Saw the rock again. Rock, bock, dock, gock, hock, jock, lock. Lock is a word. Mock, excellent, that's a possibility. Pock, no, stock, you know. Hmm. Shock. Hmm, shock's one. I'm going to go with shock. Luckily, in his shock, he had jumped left super fast. The rock rolled down fast. See its huge mass go fast. Rhymes with vast. Okay. Into the river vast, where it stops the flow the flow, the movement of our river. So here, look, the flow we're going to infer, or I'm going to imply, you're going to infer that that has stopped the yearly flooding and he's now succeeded. And so just something to conclude my story, my narrative poem. So now no more flood and the boy was super rich. Flood rhymes with good. Uh, hmm, rhymes with good. I don't know, hood, probably. Uh, then I'll no more flood, and the boy was super rich. Rich, ah, uh, flood. Ah, uh, his plan was really good, and had gone off with no hitch. Great, and now our poem is written. And we've got it. It is approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stanzas. There's quite a degree of stability in my stanzas length. So it has that similar kind of rhythm and the same kind of rhyme pattern to it. And that's the bit of writing that we're we'll trying to do today. I'll share this poem with you and I'll make a different video, which is just me reading the poem. Tardy children. If you do not proofread, I will glue you to your chair. Glue you, glue you, glue! You will then have to sit for two whole weeks. Glue to your chair. Then you will proofread. Then you will write bubbly. Glue, glue, glue. Like the video?